Welcome to Sethcraft. I've been using the Shapoko Pro XXL CNC machine for a few months and it's been working well. But suddenly I had an issue where the left side Y stepper motor started stuttering or skipping steps. And so I contacted the technical support from Carbide 3D and it's actually been quite fantastic. And they've walked me through a few things to check here. So let's go ahead and let me show you the machine and what it's doing with this left side Y stepper motor and then we will see if we can't fix the problem. I'm going to initialize the machine and you should see this stepper motor stutter. As you can see, I've got the belts removed and that should prevent any actual movement from happening. I don't know if you can see that, but it's stuttering back and forth when it's supposed to look like this, just running normal and smooth, but no, it's got this weird stutter thing going on. Now with the help of tech support, the first thing I did was swap the left and right side Y stepper motors. So I took the one from over here, put it over there and swapped it back. And the machine actually worked well for about six hours of runtime. And then the left side started going off again, which means it's not the stepper motor, but hopefully, <laughs> this is what I'm hoping, it is the wire that goes either through the middle here or through the drag chain over here. Tech support wasn't sure which one it was. I tried wiggling wires and never heard anything, but I have uh, purchased both of them. And so we're gonna replace both of those and see if that fixes the issue. The first wire that I want to try and replace is the one that goes from the left to the right side. So. Uh, if I pull on this wire right here that the stepper motor is connected to, I should be able to remove this from the hole. Let's see if I can here. Here we go. All right, so that is the wire that I'm wanting to get out. So I'm going to disconnect that, and then hopefully I can just simply uh, pull this through. But before I do that, I'm going to want to uh, combine this other one together here so that I can pull them both through at the same time. Here's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna hook these two together, and that way I know the correct end will be on this side here. I'm going to press this into that sleeve, just like that, and then hopefully be able to pull this out on the other side, and uh, it will line up as it should. I'm here on the other side where I'm going to start pulling this to get that one through. Looks like we're almost there. All right, I'm gonna pull this through really carefully here. I have connected this motor back to that new cable. It's run through here, and I have plugged it back up to the additional cable that goes from here to the control box. Let's go ahead and initialize the machine and see if that one cable was the issue. Nope, that was not the fix. All right, so now on to the second cable. So I've got it here, and this one is a bit more tricky. So this is a drag chain, and it protects the cables and keeps them all in position. It's uh, got uh, basically these little bridges, plastic bridges, that go from one side over to the other. And in order to get to the cables underneath, you have to be able to pop off one side of those. So let me show you how that's done real quick so we can access in here to get... Um, the uh, Y motor over here into this new cable, which will hook up to the control board down over there. Take some kind of sharp pointy object. I've got this uh, star bit here, and you're going to reach into the groove back over here and just pop this loose. <laughs> I may have to grab with here and pull a little bit whenever I pop it. There we go, got it. So you have to do that a whole bunch of times. It just pulls this little bridge piece back and exposes the wires. However, I was just thinking, why don't I open up the control box, plug my new cable into right here and into the control box and reinitialize and just see if we bypass that cable in the drag chain, if that fixes anything. That way I won't have to do all this if I know that cable is fine. All right, I've got the wire replaced from the left side over to the right side, and now I've got the other cable, which is supposed to go into the drag chain, 
just connect it over here to see if that fixes the issue. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the cutter and I'm gonna make sure nothing's gonna get run over here and I've got my wire out of the way. Let's do an initialize and see if anything is improved. Well, that's a good sign. It appears to be working. Excellent, that was very smooth. All right, so I think that means that this cable right here is the problem. So I need to uh, snap all of these pieces of the drag chain loose, put this cable in there and put everything back together and we should be good to go. Awesome, okay, well, it's a lot of work, but uh, it'll be worth it. To make this process a lot easier, I have unscrewed the drag chain from up here and down below. And I'm just grabbing uh, each one of these little plastic bridge pieces with a finger and then popping it loose like that. Move it over to the side and then move down some. And just going down the line, uh, there's a bunch of them. And luckily the drag chain is uh, sliding on these cables at this point and that'll make it a little bit easier to get this off. It took a moment, but I got that cable into the drag chain, and now I am just going back through here and getting all of these little plastic bridge pieces snapped back into position. I probably should uh, pull this in the right place before it gets too tight, huh? There we go. All the work has been done. I've replaced both cables and I have the drag chain all back where it's supposed to be. All the protective covers and everything have been reinstalled. Let's go ahead and reinitialize and move this machine all around and hopefully see that it is back up and running. I'm going to press initialize real quick. So far so good. I'm going to jog around and see what we get. I'm happy to report the CNC is back up and running. Now, I may be hearing things, but it seems like this left side stepper motor is now humming louder than it was before, as though it is getting the power that it needs and previously it was underpowered. I don't know, I may just be hearing things, but it seems like it is doing better than it was before. Now, as far as the motion goes, every axis seems to be moving very smoothly and things are back up and running. So, the problem seems to have been that uh, the cable that goes over here in the drag chain has stopped working. Yeah, this one right here, yeah. So that one, for some reason, somewhere, that cable has stopped working. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. It was nice to be able to contact the Carbide 3D technical support and get their professional input, and uh, it seems to have fixed my problem. So thanks for watching. I'm Seth with the Seth Craft Workshop, and I will see you in the next video.